Okay, so now that you have a basic understanding of CSS keyframes, now we're going to start our project, which is going to be a pure CSS image slider. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Basically, we have a set of thumbnails, all right, and then we have a big image. And when we click on a thumbnail, it's going to have the, the image, the bigger version of the thumbnail, slide in. All right, and you can see it slides right over the last image. Okay, so even if we go here and then we click on this one, it's going to slide over the last image clicked. And also when we hover over it, you see we have this nice little um, description uh, blurb thing. All right, so again, this is there's no JavaScript. This is all CSS. So we'll be structuring it. Um, we'll be positioning the thumbnails and, and all this, adding the background, things like that. And these images are just um, just images that I created using Photoshop. Um, obviously, you can change the images if you want. Um, as far as HTML markup, there's not much. Um, most of this, most of our work in this project is going to be in our CSS file. All right, so if we take a look at the structure, we basically just have our index page. Uh, we have an images folder which has um, seven large images and seven thumbnails. All right, and as far as the sizes, the big ones are 700 pixels by 350 pixels, and then the thumbs are 80 pixels by 40 pixels and you'll be able to change sizes if you want if you want to use larger or smaller images um, so basically let's just go ahead and create the structure okay so i'm just going to call this folder slider and we want to create our main html file Okay, then we want a CSS folder and an images folder. And I'm just going to take those images from the finished product. Feel free to use your own images. All right, and then for CSS, we're going to create a style.css file. And that's it. We're not going to use the Eric Myers reset file. What we're going to do is add a little code in this file to to set some defaults or some resets. Let's go ahead and open up the index file. Might as well open the uh, style sheet as well. Okay, so let's create our basic HTML structure. Okay, we want our doc type, HTML5 doc type. Title, I'm just going to call this pure CSS slider okay um, let's go ahead and link our style sheet This type attribute is actually optional with HTML5, but I, I like to include it, and this should actually be CSS. All right, so there's the head. The HTML is actually going to be pretty simple. All right, so basically, let's create a container. And I'm going to give it an ID of container because we're only going to be using one. 
All right, and if you look at the product, you can see that it's, it's pushed to the middle, so we're gonna have a margin of auto to push it to the middle, give it a width, um, and then let's go ahead and add our title, our H1. All right, and what we need to do now is create our thumbnail area. So this is gonna be an unordered list. I'm gonna put these in a UL tag, uh, and then just float them through the CSS so that they, they run horizontal. Okay, so let's create a UL, and I'm gonna give it a class of thumbs. So basically in here, we're going to have our image and we're going to have it wrapped in a link in an A tag. Okay, so let's say um, A, href, and then this is going to go to the ID of slide one. All right, so it's this. This is an A tag that's not going to a different page. It's going to go to simply go to the element that has the ID of slide one. Okay, so we're going to give that. We're going to give the the larger image this ID. Okay, and in here we want our image tag. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Okay, so we have an image. It's gonna point to our images folder slash thumb1.jpg. Okay, um, and that's good. I'm not gonna use any alt text. And then the text, which is gonna be the image description, is gonna be wrapped in a span tag. So we can style that. Okay, so for this, we'll just say this is image one. All right, so we have a list item which contains a link. The link goes to the ID of slide one and the image, the link is wrapped around an image to the thumbnail and then we have a span with the image description or title or whatever you want to call it. All right, and we're gonna have seven images, so we need to copy this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and now we just wanna change where these links point to. We wanna change the IDs. Okay, change these as well. Okay, so that takes care of our thumbnails. Let's just take a look at this. It's not gonna look very good yet. Okay, so basically we just have our list with our images, links, and span. Next we wanna create um, another unordered list. And we wanna give this one a class of slides. Okay, so even our, our large image are, are gonna be placed inside of a list, an unordered list. Okay, so let's say list item class. Now, we want an image to display when we open the page. So I'm gonna give this first image a class name of first, so we can uh, do what we want with that. Okay, and then of course we need our ID which is going to be equal to slide one. Okay, so you wanna make sure that this ID matches the target um, of this link up here, okay? We can close that. And inside of here, we just want an image. We want it to go to uh, img slash slide one.jpg. All right, so that's all we need. Let me just copy this. OK, 
Okay, so uh, actually we don't want this class first for any of these, just for the first one. Okay, and we'll change these numbers. All right, so there's our unordered list of large images. All right, so that's all we need for as far as HTML. Everything else is going to be done using CSS. So in the next video, we'll start to format this page a little bit and uh, make it look presentable.